long time and coming back now in a big way. Amid all the talk about education right now, standardized testing, teacher performance, the newest and maybe the simplest new idea involves taking something most of these kids already have, turning around and teaching it right back to them. And while it means a lot of things, the shorthand for it is a word we all know that means just what you think it means. What is grit? Grit is the combination of persistence and resilience. So grit is being able to keep going through challenges and struggles, being able to work with focus independently. So that's the persistence part, the resilience. When you get knocked down, you bounce back up. So These two it. men are among the primary drivers of the grit movement. Dave Levin is co-founder of KIPP, a network of innovative public charter schools serving low-income city kids. Dominic Randolph is the headmaster of a very different institution, Riverdale Country School a prestigious private school in a leafier section of New York City. These two leaders have joined together to develop what they call character education. Their message is character skills are crucial. They're just as important for kids from tough backgrounds as they are kids from well-off families. But fair warning to the kids and their parents who've been a part of the so-called trophy generation. This new movement might come as a big shock in a society that has valued self-esteem above all else. You can do it. You can do anything. One that's been perfectly skewered by SNL. My self-esteem is through the roof uh, because uh, no one has ever been honest with me about how mediocre I am. And what if someone were to be honest with you? Um, I would immediately cry. And that's accepted now. When I started teaching in the 90s, uh, there was this sense that everyone had to be rewarded, where people didn't want kids to experience failure. When you enter the work world, uh, it isn't all, uh, you know, blue ribbons, and it isn't all everyone is equal. And I think, you know, we as a, as a country, as a world, face enormous challenges, and we just have to make sure that kids and adults have the type of capacities in order to face up to those challenges. How do you get kids actually to not only experience failure, but recognize that those hard moments are the keys to future success. I always say I don't trust anyone who hasn't failed. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You think, and the you kids think we met here at KIPP already get fail, it. Or do you think it's important to fail? It's important. Yeah, it is. Why? Why is it important to fail? It's important to fail because, like, we all know that we're not perfect. We make mistakes every single day, and that's something that we grow from, like, we grow from that. If we, if we were all born perfect and we never made mistakes, we wouldn't be able to experience pain and struggle, and struggle leads to success. I will keep this up. In most KIPP classrooms, they found a way to work grit into the lesson plan, the idea of struggle and character and determination, in this case, back in the Depression era. Why is the Great Depression one of the ultimate grit events in American history? So... And down the hall in the science classroom, the normally giggle-inducing topic of human reproduction in a room full of 13-year-olds turns into a lesson in self-control. Even though that there might be some funny stuff here, you know, being able to control the laughing and bringing it back is just as important as any other skill you might ever have in your life. Self-control, which is often in really short supply in our society, has been proven to be a marker for success later in life. Psychologists famously proved that years ago in the hidden camera marshmallow test, one of which is shown here. Kids are offered the temptation, the instant gratification of a marshmallow, while they're promised seconds if they can just hold off from ringing the bell. If you can stay here and wait for me to come back, Without eating the marshmallows, then you get two marshmallows. The kids who were able to marshal their marshmallow self-control and hold out for seconds would later score about 200 points higher on their SATs than the kids who gave in. It might just be a marshmallow. It's also a bit of grit in action. Interesting thing about the marshmallow test. The kids who succeeded at not eating the marshmallows didn't sit there and stare at the marshmallow. They found something to do to, to distract themselves. One little girl in the test uses her one arm to fight off the other. She's just four years old, and knowing that makes you wonder if she was just born with that kind of self-control. Can it be taught? Is it something, is grit, character, 
self-control? Is that hardwired, or can you teach it into these kids? You can definitely teach uh, character. You can definitely teach the behaviors that go along with each of the strengths. At KIPP, so they've taken one, it a step further. The kids here get graded on character. You've heard of a GPA. These kids all receive a CPA, a character point average. And we were there when 14-year-old Jalissa learned her results. What needs improvement? Self-control. Sometimes I'll get upset. Other times I'll be able to control myself and be like, okay, I know why they're doing this.